Hello friends! Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to learn about the French Revolution. One of the most important events in world history, since it shifted the passage from the modern age to the contemporary age and performed the biggest political and social change that has ever been known in Europe. The French Revolution occurred at the end of the 18th century, exactly in the year 1789. At that time, King Louis XVI ruled. It was an absolute monarchy. That is, the king had all the power and could make the decisions that he wanted, without having to answer to anyone. Thanks to his power, Louis XVI and all the nobles who supported him had great wealth and great privileges. Meanwhile, the common people, the bourgeoisie, such as medical lawyers, artisans, merchants or peasants, had to pay many taxes and lived, the vast majority, in misery. Fed up with this situation, the most disadvantaged social classes formed the National Assembly and decided to write a constitution where the rights and duties of all social classes were collected in a more just and egalitarian manner. From that moment on, violent riots began. On July 14, 1789, in Paris, the capital of France, a large mass of people went to Bastille prison where all those who had opposed the king were imprisoned to free them. This assault became the symbol of the revolution. In the rest of the country, there were also many revolts and peasants rebelled violently against the nobles, looting and destroying their castles. The National Assembly took power and governed based on three great values, liberty, equality and fraternity. The new governors wrote a very important document, the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, antecedent of the Constitution that was approved two years later. The French people dethroned King Louis XVI and both he and Queen Marie Antoinette, his wife, were beheaded in the guillotine. The consequences of the French Revolution were many, but the most important thing was that it ended the inequality between social classes, that new rights were established for citizens, and that democratic ideas were spread to the rest of the countries of Europe. The truth is that knowing the past, the present is better understood, and the future is improved. Don't you think? Goodbye friends! Until the next happy learning video!